Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Scorpio, 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 I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for your support. And I tell you, this reading is just going to be just like all the rest. You have an amazing energy that you're vibing in. You're manifesting your heart's desire. They are, they are coming into fruition. You have that boss that wants to put a ring on the Scorpio. And you also have that toxic ex that's lurking in the background, Scorpio. So I'm going to try to make this video as fast as possible because I try to do the quickies. That way I can... uh. When I do it like this, like I said, I can, I can get more information out. So I pulled from a couple of different cards here. The first uh, cards I pulled was from the uh, Tarot for the Heart Oracle cards here. And these two cards here, was, the top two cards, was coming together and dreams coming true. Number two card and the number nine card here, Scorpio. So I see this in a couple of different ways here. I feel like, Scorpio, for most of you Scorpios, your dreams are coming true. This is like the Nine of Cups. You got Nine of Cups all through here, all through this reading here. But I feel like this is the Nine of Cups. I feel like you're going into total wish fulfillment and some type of uh, union here. Uh, and I also feel like someone feels like their dream is coming true if they could just come together with Scorpio here. So for some Scorpios, your dreams are about to come true. You're going to be with the person that you desire to be with. You're going to come back together with this person. This is something you've prayed for. You you uh, put that spiritual work in because this is someone that you desire. But at the bottom here, Scorpio, you also have challenging times, which is number five. And at the top, you have heal here. And after heal, you have lead. So I feel like there's someone in your energy, could be that ex, Scorpio, that really needs to heal. They need to take the lead, which I feel like that means this person needs to take more control over their own life because for they're having challenging times. They're going through hell right now because this is like the five of swords energy. So this could be this person here, your, your ex, that's going through hell, Scorpio, but their dream uh, would come true if they could just be back together with Scorpio here. So we start this with the page of swords here. Stay tuned, Scorpio. Uh, don't click out because at the end, I'm going to read you a couple of law of attraction cards so that you can attract, um, you know, the things that you desire. So like I said, you have the page of swords here. Now we know this page of swords is like a messenger or a student, very inquisitive, very nosy, like to play games, but but is a pretty good judge of character, like to size you up, but they like the information. So someone has been keeping tabs on you, Scorpio. Someone has been looking at you. Someone has been watching you, low-key stalking you, Scorpio. Because when I clarify the page of swords, we get this four of cups here. So I feel like someone is watching you. It's like, I feel like this person has no access to you, so they're forced to just watch you to find out whatever they want to find out about you. So when I clarify the four cups, we get this 10 of swords here. <laughs> so it's like, when we clarify the 10 of swords, Scorpio, we get the eight of cups here. So I feel like someone, Scorpio, is watching you. I feel like this is your ex that's lurking. They feel like they've missed an opportunity with you, or they feel like if they do try to offer you their cup that you're going to reject it. They're feeling betrayed by you, Scorpio, because I feel like you're not putting energy into them because I feel like ultimately you finally walked away from this person. And I feel like this person really never thought that you would actually walk away from them because they're feeling betrayed as a result of you walking away, but you're walking towards your wish fulfillments here, Scorpio. So your next card, Scorpio, is your energy, bold and beautiful. You have death here. Now, death represents death and uh, rebirth. Uh, transformation here. Uh, so I feel like you put an ending with this person, Scorpio, and I feel like it wasn't easy because we know eight of cups is a lot of cups to walk away from, but I feel like you finally did it. I feel like you put an end when you walked away from this person, you had to end it. Um, and I feel like you transformed as a result of it. I feel like whoever this person is from your past that keeps on your ex, keeps showing up, they are indeed your soulmate, Scorpio but they're operating in karmic, toxic energy. So when I clarify this two of cups here, we get the king of swords here. So this person, 
it's very, very, uh, this person is, is really thinking about a lot of things, Scorpio. Um, they're thinking about this spiritual connection that you guys have, Scorpio. They're also thinking about this ending. And I feel like this person is sad because they feel like you've had a new beginning somewhere else. And so we get temperance out, out of King of Swords. So I feel like this person, which is your ex-soulmate, Scorpio, they got a lot of drama going on in their life. And they need to get their life together with this temperance card here. They're, they have no balance going on. Because remember, this person is having um, challenging times going on in their life right now. So I feel like even though you moved away, you re, you rebirthed, you transformed, this person hasn't did anything to change. Uh, they're just watching you and mad at you because you've moved on. So now we have the queen of pentacles here. So Scorpio, this is your energy since you moved away from this person here. See, you transformed, Scorpio. You didn't, you're didn't. you not showing up as the queen of cups. You're showing up as the queen of pentacles. That, therefore, you did some major transformation in your life, Scorpio. So when I clarified this queen of pentacles, because I had to get a couple of cards for that, we get the four of wands here. So some of you Scorpios, and when I clarify the four of wands, we get the Hierophant. So I feel like this person, Scorpio, in this King of Swords energy, because they're operating in this King of Swords energy where they're really trying to figure you out. This is why the Page of Swords here, they're trying to dig up information. It's like they're on the outside looking into your life and they're really trying to figure you out. So this person sees you as transforming, Scorpio. You're the Queen of Pentacles, not the Queen of Cups. And they feel like you're in a relationship. They, they Look, this is why this person is sad and miserable. Because they feel like you to transform your life. You, 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 you're focusing on your stability. Uh, you're bringing happiness within the home. They probably feel like you got somebody else that you're really in love with. Because this Four of Wands could also represent a twin flame because of the Four of Wands. But they feel like you're in a higher level of commitment, Scorpio. And they feel like you're in a higher level of commitment and you've walked away from them. It's because of all the shady shit that they used to do in the Seven of Swords energy. They did this. In other words, they made their bed, Scorpio. Now this person is forced to lie in it. Now you got the Five of Cups. Look, you got the Five of Swords along with the Five of Cups. This person is regretting everything because in this King of Swords energy... All they're doing, this King of Swords and this Page of Swords, all they're doing is watching you and trying to figure you out. And regardless of what they come up with, they're coming up with that the, they played the role in you upgrading your life, being happy with someone else. Now, you may not even be with nobody. Some of you Scorpios are in a relationship now with this Four of Wands and this Hierophant, but they know it's because they could have had that with you too if they was not doing all this this deception energy here, getting away with something, sneaking around. But I tell you what, they, they're regretting it now in this Five of Cups energy, Scorpio. It's like this person in this King of Swords, they're just reflecting on everything. So now you have the Seven of Cups here. This is more water energy, Scorpio, which is your energy. Now this could be a, a confusion here. It could be fantasies. Uh, it could be confusion and just fantasies. And it also represents, of course, options here. I feel like this person was too busy exploring their other options because they were confused, Scorpio. This person was confused. So when I clarify the Seven of Cups, I get the Six of Pentacles. This is why they was uh, crumb in you, Scorpio, because they had way too many options in their life, Scorpio. And you realize you didn't have to put up with this shit. This is why you walked away from this person. And like I said, it wasn't easy. It's not easy walking away from Eight of Cups. But... You you walked away in, in such a sophisticated way, Scorpio, because you did not only walk away, you transformed and you upgraded your whole life. So uh, shout out to the ex. Thank you. So this person was given. This is the merchant being generous. Of course, they're going to be generous because they got all these options to keep happy. Now, whatever they was given all these options, you know, somebody was always coming up short. It wasn't just you coming up short, Scorpio. It was all of these other options as well, because this person bit off way much more than they could chew. And the type of options that they were, were having what wasn't even wasn't even usable. So when I clarify the six of pentacles, Scorpio, I get the three of pentacles. 
This all they did was just party. That's all they did was entertain other people. They had to be the life of the party because this next card, Scorpio, is the king of wands. Now, we know how that king of wands operate. They're the life of the party. They love attention. They always ego tripping. Uh, they're very charming. Now, now you can't hate on them. They're very charming and charismatic, so it's easy for them to always charm the crowd. I feel like this person was fronting and stunting taking folks out, splurging. And this person was also in a lot of, a lot of threesomes. But I feel like this person had an unhealthy lifestyle because when I clarify the Three of Cups, we get the Nine of Cups. Now, this would be the wish fulfilled, which you do have a wish fulfilled, another Nine of Cups, but this is overindulging here. This is overindulging because this person had too many options and most of their options was negative influences on them anyway. But this is their lifestyle. This is what they did. So this person had some type of addiction, whether it was drinking, whether it was sex, multiple partners, whether it was their mind frame. But I feel like it was sex and, and some type of drug, Scorpio. But this person had too much shit going on in their life anyway, Scorpio. This is why they showing up as the seven of swords. And, but they're regretting it. True enough, they're regretting it. But it's a day late and a dollar short. So we move over here to this King of Wands, which I feel like this is the person, this King of Wands, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. So when I clarify this King of Wands energy, Scorpio, I get this Ace of Swords here. So I feel like some truth came out about this King of Swords energy, some type of clarity, some truth. And when I clarify the Ace of Swords, I get the Seven of Pentacles here. So when I clarify the Seven of Pentacles, I get the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this King of Wands, some type of truth came out about this ex-person who is very, very karmic in nature, even though they're your soulmate, about this person investing into a whole nother commitment with Scorpio. This person was busy, Scorpio. This person had way too much shit going on in their life. And I feel like it's catching up with them. I feel like, I feel like this, all these things is telling you what, what type of lifestyle this person had in the past. But it's also showing you what they're going through today in this uh, Five of Cups and this Five of Swords energy here. So I feel like you found out this person had a whole nother relationship that they were investing in. This is why they were crumbing you. But now this person is burdened down by their lifestyle as this King of Wands. So you got this Ten of Wands here. So I feel like this person is bit biting off way, bitten, biting. <laughs> this person is bit off more than they can chew, Scorpio. But this is what they, this is their lifestyle. This is what they do. They always keep a multiple people on their team. And they ain't even got to have no real substance about their self. This person in their mind, they feel like uh, quantity is better than quality because they had quality when they had Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm just saying. So now this person has to lie in their bed, Scorpio, with this Ten of Wands. So when I clarify the Ten of Wands, Scorpio, we get judgment. So this person is under judgment, Scorpio. This person is receiving negative judgment. This person is receiving karma, Scorpio, because of their lifestyle. Uh, you know, it's like this person doesn't want to make changes. So I feel like spirit is forcing this person to not only see themselves, but they're not going to enjoy their life until they make the changes. So when I clarify this judgment card, Scorpio, we get the queen of pentacles. Remember, you're the queen of pentacles right here. So this is you. They're getting judgment, honey, because of you, Scorpio. See, a lot of Scorpios, when this person hurts you, Scorpio, it's like this person hurt you and I feel like the whole earth just stood still. Um, especially because you were a gift for this person, but they mishandled you, they abused you, and they used you. And as a result, this person is under severe uh, karma and judgment because they did it to you. You were their soulmate. You remember, you got this two of cups. So you know spirit sent you to this person as their gift. But when I clarify this queen of pentacles, I get this five of pentacles. You done left their ass out on the cold, Scorpio. Not only did you leave them out in the cold, this person money is funny. See, this person is going to receive judgment in every area of their life. I feel like this person was out tricking off with the whole stunting in front like they was the main man. 
this person was fronting like they was the main man in this King of Wands energy. All out here spending money, uh, tricking off, uh, overindulging with all these other people, Scorpio, while they was leading you on, uh, nickel and diming you and making you feel like something was wrong with you. It was them the whole time. So this person is under severe judgment as a result of this, Scorpio. Their money ain't right and they out in the cold. Some of them may even be homeless, Scorpio. So your next card here, Scorpio, we have this Eight of Cups yet again. This is you, Scorpio. You walked away from this person. You walked away in search of something way much more fulfilling than what this person was giving you, Scorpio. So when I clarify this um, Eight of Cups, Scorpio, I get <laughs> the Five of Swords. See, you walked away from this person for the same reason. It's the same reason it keeps showing up. Over here, the Eight of Cups, you walked away uh, from this person because... Uh, you, you decided that you didn't want to be with this person, but this person felt like you didn't did them wrong because you walked away from them, Scorpio. You walked away from this person to, uh, to do better. You walked away from this person, uh, to heal and to elevate Scorpio. And so, but I feel like you eventually got tired of this mess. You walked away from this person, Scorpio, because of all the mind games and all the ego trip and all of the manipulation this person was putting you through. Because this King of Wands considered themselves a playboy. They had many options, so they was feeling themselves. And so they, they wanted to win at all costs, even if it means uh, dragging you in the equation, Scorpio. And I feel like what this person would do is uh, anytime you threaten to walk away or anytime you did walk away, they would reach back out to you with this eight of wands energy. Um, and then they would take a break from you again, Scorpio. So I feel like this is the mind games this person was playing with this five of swords energy. They come moving in fast, but then they drop off the face of the earth, Scorpio. And I feel like you got tired of this and you eventually walked away from this person because this person was like a narcissist, Scorpio. So now we have this three of swords energy. Now this ain't you, Scorpio. This is this person. You know this is this person because they're in regret. They're having challenging times and they need to heal. So this person is, not only is this person heartbroken, Scorpio, because they cannot be in your life, but they feel like you didn't let them down and betray them and they feel like they've missed an opportunity with you, Scorpio. But this person is feeling heartbroken in this three of swords, Scorpio, because like I say, this person swears that you already have a committed relationship and you're happy and you left them alone because of their shady seven of swords energy. So when I clarify this three of swords, Scorpio, we get the seven of wands. So this person is heartbroken, Scorpio, because you didn't set booby traps, you didn't set boundaries, and you meant what you said with this person, and you're not uh, going back on this. You set boundaries with this person, because I feel like this was you in the past, this three of swords, but now it's this person, they're in this three of swords energy, because they can't get to you. You you blocked them, Scorpio. So when I clarify the seven of, uh, seven of wands, you got the seven of wands and the seven of swords. So when I clarify the seven of wands, which means that you, you put a barrier around you, they can't get to you. I get the Ace of Pentacles. You block this person. You probably, most of you Scorpios got this person on block or you've set strong boundaries with this person because you've decided, like I say, you already walked away with this Eight of Cups, but you walked away from that to this Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning, a new, uh, you say you'd rather have a new opportunity and a new beginning somewhere else than to give this person another chance. Because when I clarify this Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio, we get the Magician. So you have been manifesting your ass off in this transformation energy, Scorpio, as you can see, because you do have your wishes coming true here with this nine of cups energy. Look, you got the nine of cups, the nine of cups, and the nine of cups. So this, this nine of cups is overindulging and feeling smug. This person thought that they was the shit, Scorpio. Let's just keep it real. This person was arrogant. They really thought that they shit did not stink, Scorpio, but they didn't know that they were going to receive uh, harsh judgment and karma uh, as a result of it. And based on these cards, I can't even say that they're receiving karma because they dogged everybody else. It was something special about you, Scorpio. Uh, this is why this two of cups is here. They mishandled a precious gift for the, from the most high. And as a result, they're getting karma 
because specifically, I don't care about all them other hoes. I'm talking about specifically they're receiving karma because they fucked over Scorpio. Remember, you this queen of pentacles. You ain't showing up in the queen of cups because you ain't, you ain't trying to show no love to this person, Scorpio. So this person's heartbroken because they see you manifesting the life that you desire. They see it coming, Scorpio. They see all your dreams coming true. And like I say, this person feel like some of you Scorpios already have a committed relationship with this coming together. And they feel like they don't stand a chance because you done already blocked them, Scorpio. And all they can do is watch you in this page of swords, watch you level up and get your shit together. Now, your last card, Scorpio, is this two of cups. So you got two two of cups. So you always got more multiple soulmates. This is your this this two of cups right here. Who you ended it with is your past ex lover. That's um either they're they're karmic or they're just sending your life as a lesson. But this is your soulmate. I feel like this person needs to do some healing, Scorpio, major healing. Because look, this is what the card said. This person will always have challenging times, Scorpio, until they take the lead and heal. This person needs a heal, but you see it's in reverse. They're not healing. They think that they're untouchable. Well, they thought they was untouchable, but I feel like they're feeling it now, Scorpio. Uh, so, where's the card at? Okay, but we've got the challenging times. I mixed it up. Oh, here it is. Challenging times. Okay, so now there's two of cups, Scorpio. When I clarify this two of cups here, now this is a different soulmate. Look, you got two soulmates here. You got an old soulmate and you have a new two of cups coming in. Now, this is the new soulmate with this two of cups. So when I clarify the two of cups here, Scorpio, I get the nine of pentacles. Now, this is your energy. You are abundant. You are single. You are abundant. You are, uh, uh, you know, you're doing it. You're making it happen. But when people see you, they see you as grounded, a reliable partner in this queen of pentacles because Everything you achieve, you achieved it doing it on your own because you was trying to build this with this person. You was look, you was trying to come together with this this ex soulmate, but they didn't. They they was too busy giving out to other relationships, so you had to move away. But in the process of moving away, you transformed your energy into amazing energy. You took your emotions out of the equation. Now you're leveling up, you're independent, you're abundant, you're beautiful, you're secure, you're confident and all those things. And like I say, this two of cups, this, this nine of pentacles uh, is what's attracting this two of cups. So when I clarify the nine of pentacles, Scorpio, we get the page of pentacles. So now you're going to have a pursuer. This two of cups is going to come in, going to reach out to you. They're going to want to do something for you. I feel like it's going to start off small because it's a page. Or they just might call you and say, look here, Scorpio. Uh, uh, uh. I remember the other day when we passed by a uh, coach. You saw that purse, that little purse you like. I'm just saying, you know, it ain't nothing. If you want it, you know, I'm just saying, if you want. Look, goddamn me, Scorpio. Now, little you, Scorpio. Now, if it was anybody else, I wouldn't give a damn. But it's you, Scorpio, so you can have it all. <laughs> So when I clarify the page of Pentacles, you got that chariot card. Somebody might be trying to buy you a brand new car. If not, you could also be dealing with a cancer. But this person wants to rush in. This person wants to travel with you. This person loves to travel. This person has a very, very nice drop top car. Um, they got a, a pretty car. It's like this person likes swag. And they don't mind uh, showering you with gifts, Scorpio, because... They're spiritually guided to you. They're spiritually connected to you. So when I clarify the chariot card, goddamn me, Scorpio, we get the lovers. So this could be a Gemini, but this is going to be your lover here. Now, this is another, look, this, look, this is a strong spiritual connection with this new person, Scorpio. It's like you guys are going to be vibing out of this world. This is going to be a galactic kind of Scorpio love. You got coming in, Scorpio, because guess what? When we clarify this lover's card, Scorpio, we get what? That boss again, the king of motherfucking Pentacle. That's right. So see, this is why your ex is feeling some type of way, because you sitting as the queen of Pentacle. They swear up and down. You, you done married somebody. This, this, your ex soulmate, Scorpio, swear that you you done moved in with somebody and you got a full 
a full commitment and it's based on them watching you and they may, the information may be wrong, but it's not off because you do have this King of Pentacles coming in. Now I'm just saying you do have a boss coming in that, that look, <laughs> I feel like a commitment going to come out of this here. And like I said, you got the four wands with the hierophant. It could very well be this King of Pentacles coming in to give you this Scorpio. And I'm just saying now at the bottom of this deck here, cause I got to show you, you have the eight of pentacles. I feel like this eight of pentacles is this queen, this king of wands. Remember they got the five of pentacles. Their money is not right. So this person is in overdrive trying to get their money together, Scorpio, because after the eight of pentacles, you have another, the five of wands again. This person got too much conflict around them pertaining to money. This person could even owe people that want their money. This person uh, is not getting over any type of heartbreak and betrayal, but this, this, this this three, this three of swords ain't got nothing to do with you. This got to do with other people in this king of, because I feel like it's this king of wands energy. This ain't got nothing to do with Scorpio. This is what they got going on. They done broke somebody's heart because somebody owes somebody money. They coming to collect. But I feel like it was a commitment because after this three of swords in reverse, you got this ten of cups. So they was in some type of relationship and all they want is money, money, money. And, and your person is about to work themselves crazy trying to make this money up. So after this 10 of cups, you got that nine of wands again, Scorpio. This person is wounded, but they trying to bounce back. And it's all because they with their mother freaking fracking karmic. Look at that queen of wands in reverse. Now, this is the one who they chose, the one who they was going out kicking it with party and hearty and doing all this shit like that. It's not happy over there. This person is with a karmic person, Scorpio. And so all they can do is watch you and fantasize about you. But please believe they know exactly why you're no longer with them, with this king of swords. Even with this ace of swords, they know the truth, Scorpio. They know why you left them. And I feel like this person... Uh, really understands why they're receiving judgment too, Scorpio, because th I feel like this is from your person perspective. This is how they see you. So that they don't have time to do nothing but uh, introspect and think about everything that transpired and they don't like it because it makes them feel bad, Scorpio. So that's that, Scorpio. Now let's pull your cards, which I've already pulled. Now these are the Law of Attraction Oracle cards here. So I pulled three. Your first one is Instincts. It says, I act on my instincts and notice the signs and symbols in my life. That's instincts. Now you have practice, Scorpio. It says, every day I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals. Practice, Scorpio. Remember, practice makes perfect. Instincts is listening to your intuition and following it. And your last card is empowerment, Scorpio. It says, I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. So it's telling you to think about positive things because it raised your vibration and those empowering uh, good things will come to you, Scorpio. It's like that's the law of attraction. If you want good, you have to feel good, Scorpio. But this is what I have for you, Scorpio. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. I went way over for it to be a quick, Scorpio, but I'm sorry. Uh, but leave me a comment, Scorpio, and uh, thumbs up this video. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpios.